Hello friends, today, we'll discuss about, reflex clistron characteristics. In this experiment, this is our microwave test bench setup. In the setup you can see clistron power supply, this is used to power up, clistron tube which is fitted in, clistron mount, the clistron power supply having, different types of modes such as continuous wave, AM, FM, external and mic mode. For the experiment, we will go for, AM that means, amplitude modulation mode. Clistron tube is mounted on a component, named as, clistron, mount. A fan is placed, in front of clistron tube, for cooling purpose. A clistron mount, an isolator is connected in test bench. Function, of isolator is, to pass all microwave signal, into one direction only. Arrow sign on isolator, indicates the direction, in which microwave signal travels. Variable attenuator, is connected, after isolator, this is used to, attenuate power of, microwave signals, initially, variable attenuator is set, for no attenuation, that means, micrometer of variable attenuator, is completely open. Direct read frequency meter, is used for, measuring frequency of, microwave. A detector mount, is placed at the end of test bench for measuring output on CRO. Start experiment, initially we will have to get, square waveform output on CRO. Doing this, first set all, instrument knobs as given in manual. CRO time base for 0.5 milliseconds, and amplitude base for 0.5 volts. Set, variable attenuator at no attenuation. Set, clistron power supply, mode switch at, AM. Set, frequency and amplitude knob, of, AM at, middle position. Set, beam voltage knob, at fully anti-clockwise. Set, repeller voltage knob, at fully clockwise position. Set, meter select knob, at V, that means beam voltage. Sure that, HT is at off position. Now, power on, Clistron power supply and CRO. Now, keep HT is, at on position. Now you will see beam voltage at display meter, set it up to 220 volts using beam voltage knob. Now change meter select knob at current and see the value of current, it would approximately 15 to 20 milliampere. Now, change meter select knob, at repeller voltage and, see repeller volt, it would approximately minus 270 volts. Now by changing repeller voltage clockwise slowly, and try to get a square waveform on CRO. You can also use plunger of cliston mount and detector mount, for getting maximum output. You will observe, that you will get square waveform, two or three times in all over span of repeller voltage. Choose any appropriate span where you get good amount of square waveform on CRO. Now, by adjusting amplitude knob of AM, set square waveform output for maximum amplitude. To getting good amount of output, use direct read frequency meter to get deep on CRO means the point where output is going minimum. The 
point of deep note down the frequency for DRF meter. This is your microwave frequency in gigahertz. Down value of frequency and repeller voltage. This is to be considered as center point. Frequency detuning. You will have to find out two more point of repeller voltage. For this purpose just increase repeller voltage by plus 5 to 10 volts. You will find that square wave amplitude is low as compared to amplitude of square wave which we got it at center point. Now measure the frequency of microwave at this point and note down values of frequency and repeller voltage. Frequency detuning. Just decrease repeller volge by 5 to 10 volts to get another point where we got square wave with minimum amplitude in compare of square wave amplitude found at center point. Now note down values of voltage and frequency for this point. Finally, we have three values of repeller voltages and frequencies. Now, remove CRO and connect millimeter at detector mount. Now, measure current at all three position of repeller voltage and note down its values. Using the data we obtain from this procedure, we can plot graph for finding reflex cholesterol characteristics.